Greetings from the BSC Designer Team. In this video, we'll talk about the different ways to input data into your scorecard and indicators. Let's start with the most basic approach, manual data entry. To enter data manually, you need to select an indicator, then select a date in the internal calendar, switch to the data tab of the indicator, and enter some number into the value field. For another date, the steps are the same. Select a date in the calendar, and enter the current value of the indicator in the value field. The software will record the entered values into the dates according to an update interval of this indicator. You can check those values by clicking on the dates on the internal calendar, or you can click on the values editor button to review the data table and other properties of an indicator. If you prefer, you can enter data directly into the values editor by clicking on the corresponding cell on the table. In many cases, manual data input is the easiest way to update scorecards with fresh data from the operational teams. In the user section, you will find a number of settings to organize the data input workflow. For example, you can define if the data entered by a data input user needs an approval by power users or it can be applied to the scorecard directly. What is an alternative to entering data manually? Spreadsheets are one of the most popular business tools and many strategy teams already have their data in that format. In BSC Designer, you can import the data into the indicators from a spreadsheet. This option is available via the tools and import data command. We have a video where we discuss all the nuances about importing from a spreadsheet, including the best way to create a data input template. As you can see, another option available in the importing dialog is import from SQL database. It works similar to importing from a spreadsheet, but in this case, Instead of uploading a file, you will need to specify access details to a database and formulate a database query. The importing from a database option is a good alternative when you need to import data just once. What if we need to update indicators with fresh data from a database regularly? In this case, we need to set up a data source first. To do this, I switch to the settings, integrations tab, and add a new data source here. I need to select the database type and enter access credentials. Once the data source is configured, I go back to the scorecard, select any indicator, switch to the data tab, click on the data source button, and select the SQL query option. I will need to select a data source and define the query. A corresponding section in the user tutorial explains the parameters that can be used in the query. What if you need to retrieve data from a third-party business tool where you don't have access to the database? Consider these scenarios. Getting data about user engagement for your videos on YouTube, extracting visitor data from Google Analytics, or tracking the average time to resolve tickets in Zendesk. In such cases, you can use Google Sheets as a connector. It's simple and only requires basic knowledge of Excel. Here are the steps to follow. Install the required add-on for the third-party tool, Install the add-on called BSC Designer Sync and link necessary data and schedule automatic data updates. In the video description, we provide a link to the user tutorial with more detailed instructions and examples. Finally, if your engineering team wishes to integrate BSC Designer in your business environment, use the RESTful API. That's a program interface that enables other tools to access your scorecards. To configure this access, navigate to Settings, Integrations. Here, you can set up an API access key and access documentation for this feature. We provided a brief overview of the ways to input data into BSC Designer. Please don't hesitate to contact our customer support team if you have any questions.